Tara Chow. This is how I truly feel. You want your ears? Oh, you want your ears? Oh, you like that shit, do you? No, you like that shit. What, 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 what? And my daughter's going crazy because she is wanting to in the backyard of Diane, who is a mother Teresa. She's like my older sister. She invites me to her home to the point where she invited me to be Mr. Belvedere and Katie in a bigger house where she was more financially solvent. And you know what? I'm a nice. I'm a fucking thing, but I'm gallant. I'm not mean. And, uh, you know, I've been poor, and I don't like the fact that there are so many people that don't have it done. And, uh, you know what? Uh, I'm going to ask you to marry me, and I don't want to ever hold your pussy, all right? That's yours. <laughs> and you can do what you want with it. But if I was, like, along for the ride and having a son, and that, like, you know, you care, because I'm going to put this, uh, satisfied with that message very satisfied you know what hopefully I don't fuck this up from here till now but basically girl uh, from here till now um, I'm gonna be the same guy I'm not gonna change I'm not gonna think that my shit don't stink cause you know I'm good at football yada yada um, yeah confessions of football god I don't really have any there isn't anything that I've ever done that I wouldn't fucking uh, you know look at on screen with an audience and shit, you know, uh, with knives in their hands and shit, you know what I'm saying, uh, it's like that, um, yeah, uh, I can stand on that shit, and, uh, yeah, you know, what you have in front of you is a guy that can make movies about, you know, a white boy standing up in front of a table of angry black men that have every reason to be angry. Seriously, they've gone through everything. You know, they were born fucked, right? Uh, Lincoln didn't free the slaves. He gave them their walking papers with no reparations into an economy that was geared to suppress the poor, right? That's why all the shitty fucking foods are found in the poor section and they're really cheap. They got a lot of sugar and they make you really fat, and then they have four loco, and that's some crazy shit. And you know what? I like the taste of it. Basically, like when you let it sit overnight, and uh, you just let it fucking like chill to like where it's like fucking uh, high C, and it's not like bubbly because that fuck, fucks you up, shit. Right? And uh, yeah, you're you're absolutely exquisitely beautiful, uh, both inside and out. I would be absolutely honored to have you along for the ride girl and the only thing keeping me from basically signing over cementing you know what like you're the one um because i fucked up my relationship with uh the first one uh who was my ex and uh, she was about as good as you get um it's like this i will never have to do methamphetamine again um even if i did you're down for the count and you know what, uh, where it took me sexually, mentally, uh, you'd be along for the ride because, you know, you'd be down for that too. And uh, I think maybe if I could do it legally in, like, Amsterdam, I might think about it, but that's down the road uh, just to prove a point that uh, that ain't worth shit compared to, like, Stevia and what it does, the pure stuff. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to cut this short. Not too short, you know. And, uh, you know, uh, next move is on you. Um, do I have, like, 
reverse Dave Chappelle coffee chocolate uh, is like this. A dollar forty something, I think, at Costco. You don't have to have a membership. And uh, two of these definitely replaces, uh, you know, Starbucks. And you save half the price. You know what? For me, you would love, girl. Uh, peace out. Call me. <laughs>